I have been feeling really crafty lately. And uh, I haven't crafted or DIY'd in a really, really long time, but I really used to like to do it. And um, I was looking at the InStyle magazine, I think it was two months ago, and I came across something that inspired me to try my hand at recreating what I saw. And um, I was at a few dollar stores today trying to find a few little things I need, because I figured I'll find them at the dollar store. And the first dollar store I went to was a bust. I did not find what I needed there, but I found a few little things. I'm just going to run through right quick for you guys. Um, I usually hit their dollar jewelry wall because they have really cute stuff. And I found this laser cut uh, metal cuff. It's just a little silver metal cuff um, with these really pretty painted designs on it. I thought it was neat and different. I hadn't seen anything like that before. And uh, I like the idea of it, but I almost didn't buy it. It wasn't until I came across these. And these were two for a dollar that I said, yeah, I'll go ahead and get them. A uh, real pretty pink one, this gorgeous blue one, neat little green one, and my favorite is to the orange one. And when I put them together, it just makes sense. So I went ahead and got them all, um, three bucks. And I have arm candy, so I grabbed that. And then when I was leaving, they had a whole bunch of shelves of movies. Movies I've never heard of, a lot of foreign stuff. Um, but I saw this movie called Fur. I don't know what it's about. I didn't read anything on it. It's a dollar and Robert Downey Jr.'s in it. I love him. So I grabbed that. Then I found something called I'm Reed Fish. Never heard of it. Don't know what it's about. But this guy is in it. This DJ Qualls guy. I love him. He is so friggin' funny. He's hilarious. He is so dorky. He's cute. I would marry this guy if I didn't think I'd break him in half. Because he's like this big. He's so thin. But I'll try him out. If they're horrible, it's only a dollar. But um, after that dollar store, I went to Dollar Tree, and they never disappoint. I found everything I needed for my DIY. And I'm not going to tell you guys what it is in case it comes out horrible. Uh, but I'm going to show you what I bought for it. Um, first thing are these magnets. I'm going to use the blue ones. They look like little buttons. Um, it wasn't my first choice, but it's what they had. And it's just like a draft project, so if it's like really, really horrible... It's no big loss, but if it's really nice and it turns out well, then I know I can upgrade to like some better stuff. But um, grab that. Then I grabbed this placemat. It's this little um, real liquid, real movable wood, bamboo type um, placemat, kind of like a sushi mat. I grabbed that. And then the last thing for my DIY is this pillow cover in this real pretty blue. Um, so I'm going to probably work on that this weekend, tinker around with it and see if I can create what I think, what I'm supposed to create. It's in my head already, but let's see if I can like actually make it. Um, if it turns out cute, I'll show you guys. If it's horrible, uh, I'll never mention it again. I hope y'all never mention it again because I'm like going to plead the fifth and play real dumb. But, uh, I found what I needed for my DIY and then... Um, I found some stuff that I wasn't planning on buying, but I went ahead and got anyway. I told you guys that this year is going to be my little guy's first official Halloween. Haven't celebrated in years and years and years, but I have been looking for a costume for him. He doesn't like masks on his face. He doesn't like hats on his head. So I'm like, you know, struggling with what he's going to be. Plus the whole $15, 20 $25 for a costume that he's going to wear for a few hours just like does not jive well with me. But when I walked into the Dollar Tree, the first thing I saw actually was this thing. It is a little night helmet and it looks like metal. It's adorable. I thought it was really, really cute. It was not adorable. It's tough. It's cool. So I grabbed that. And then I have the little chest plate. And my little guy is so skinny. He's like, he doesn't have much of a chest. But this fit him and it looked really cute on him. They had the arm plates. There's one. There's the other. Grab those. And then he has his 
knight's axe. This is a little more chucky than a knight. I mean, considering he's three and he's going to be wielding an axe, that's very chucky. But um, it goes with the costume, so I went ahead and grabbed it. That's like $4 for an entire Halloween costume. Not a problem for me. Uh, the helmet, I had to bribe him to just let me try it on. Um, I said I'd buy him candy if he wore it. And then since Halloween is like all about candy anyway, I figure I can just like bribe him all night to keep his little helmet on by saying something like, you know, mommy's going to take your candy away or something. <laughs> I know, that's horrible. But uh, I want him to be dressed up. So, when I was about to leave, they had these up by the register, and I thought these were adorable. It's these little appliques. It's like um, Mr. Potato Head for a pumpkin. Uh, you just stick them. You stab your pumpkin with these little things. This one is the a real, you know, little jack-o'-lantern cutout. This one is so cute. It's a bat. It has the little ears, the little wings. It has little fangy teeth. I thought it was so cute. Look at this stuff, guys. You just stick it into your pumpkin. And this one is Frankenstein. Adorable. It even has the little plastic scar. I thought that was a trip. Um, and I got these for two reasons. One, I can't carve a pumpkin to save my life. Never been able to. The eyes come out all raggedy. I can never get a little raggedy grin. I, I can't. I can't do it. And two, the smell of pumpkin, you know, the flesh of it makes me nauseous. It always has. Ever since I was a little girl, there's something about that scent that just messes with me. So I figured... Using these, um, my little guy can get the jack-o'-lantern experience without mommy puking all over the place. But um, I'm looking forward to Halloween this year. I'm kind of like getting the Halloween itch. And Halloween to me used to be like... <laughs> I was a Halloween freak. It was my holiday. I need to tell you guys there's a backstory behind why I haven't celebrated, blah, 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 blah. But that's for a whole nother video. And I'll share that story with you guys one day so y'all can understand why, oh, I'm like feeling Halloween again. But um, when I got home, I'm taking the stuff out of the trunk, and I find a bag of stuff that I had forgotten was back there. I remember the stuff. I believe I got it at Family Thrift because it's not Goodwill. It's not Thrift Town. It's just a plain white bag. Uh, so let me run through that real quick. Everything that I'm going to show you except one thing was a dollar. This was a dollar fifty. But this didn't come this way. This was um, the collar of a shirt. It was on a shirt, a black tee. And the t-shirt was absolutely teeny, teeny, tiny. It wasn't going to fit. I didn't want to wear the shirt. I wanted the embellishment. So it was real easy to pop off. A few little stitches on the ribbon and the jewels themselves. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. The stones are this gray color. So I'm either going to wear it as a choker with the long ribbons and a pretty bow. Or I'm going to wear it loose oopsie kind of draped with the bow in the back kind of mid back in a bow or it even fits as a belt but I'm a bigger girl so I don't really play up my uh, monster here with belts or anything uh, so I just thought it was gorgeous it would even make like a really pretty bracelet I just don't want to tear it there's no way I could bust this into really really pretty that was a dollar fifty because it was attached to the shirt everything else was a dollar 99 cents it had this little Louis V coin purse. Uh, it's stamped Louis Vuitton. I don't know. I'm not a Louis Vuitton fan. Uh, but it's stamped LV. And I liked this. The little candle. The little candle. The little key holders. That can always come in handy. And I carry my keys, my mom's keys, my sister's keys. We have keys to each other's house in case of emergencies kind of things. This is like really, really handy. So it's not dangling on a big old keychain. Perfect. 99 cents. Grab that. I found another one of these. Assuming it's a belt, it fits like a belt, but I'm not going to wear it as a belt. Once again, I'm probably going to drape it long with a pink bow in the middle. Um, I don't know what to do with it. I have no idea. I just thought it was pretty and pink. Look! It's a cancer awareness bow ribbon. Anywho, I don't know what to do with it. But it's pink and it's really, really pretty. Pink and silver is just awesome now that I see it together. So I grabbed that. And I found one of these. Again, it fits like a belt, but I'm not going to wear it that way. What I'm thinking about doing with this is doing like one of my Pocahontas tie thingies. And wearing it that way. Um, just because I like the way it looks. And it's fitting for a little Pocahontas tie. It's wood beads and leather. So that might work. Then the two little things that I could not believe. Well, now I can't believe 
for in a 99 cent bin was one this purple clutch it's a purple tweed with little gold buckle accents it has a magnet attachment very simple on the inside you can't carry much in it but it is from banana republic i don't know if you guys can see that it's from banana republic and i couldn't believe that this was in the 99 cent bin i thought it was in there by accident but it wasn't i grabbed it for 99 cents the last thing are these shoes michael by michael kors now all of my thrift stores are pretty connected together and i found some michael michael kors at thrift town the past weekend and here i'm finding some more in thrift store a few like half a mile down the road so somebody is donating the heck out of these and at first i thought they were the ugliest things on the planet they have been worn but i tried them on and the more i looked at them the more they grew on me so i grabbed them for 99 cents i grabbed them i think they're kind of cute they're kind of neat they, they grew on me so i went ahead and grabbed those um and that's it i just wanted to share my little finds and give you guys the heads up on my diy like i said if it's wonderful i'll show you if it's not i'm gonna be like i never said i was gonna make anything but um until my next video until my next sit down in my jammies i'm in my jammies guys um I will talk to you soon. Y'all have a great night. Y'all have a great Friday. And until the next time, bye.